Hi y'all, welcome to Beadin' Crazy Custom Creations. Um, today I have Miss Jeannie with me and we are going to make some floral fabric hair clips. Now, I wasn't able to remember where I bought the ones that I had made that Miss Wanda showed. The hair barrettes that I had made with the floral petals. So I just went to Hobby Lobby, bought some different colored bandanas, took an old one that I had, pulled it apart. So what I did was pulled it apart, glued it down to a piece of poster board, and cut out my own. Now that was pretty simple. I mean, you could you can make your floral and any your floral petals in any pattern you wanted. You could draw your own pattern and use it. But then what I did with after I finished those is I took them and I ironed them and I starched them with some fabric starch. I also glitterified them with some paint some glitter paint I don't know if you can really see let me bring you down some yeah they are see they are glittery and that was just tulip tulip fabric paint with glitter is pretty much what I did okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them on these little hair clips which I got off of Amazon on one of the little hair barrette, um, the hair barrette, um, silicone molds I bought, the hair clips came with it. So that's what I'm going to use is the hair clips instead of a hair barrette. So let's, let's, uh, get you down a little bit further so you can see what I'm doing. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, oops, that one's, take the bottom one, and I'm gonna glue it to, I'm not sure which one of these hair clips I wanna use, really. I'm gonna try this thin one first. But I'm gonna glue it down with some hot glue. That is, if I can get the hot glue gun to work. I got one that just doesn't want to go in there. There we go. It's dripping at least. So I'm going to put a bead of hot glue on the barrette. Actually, I really, no, I don't think I want to glue it to the barrette yet. That wasn't a very good idea. All right, let's do this first. Let's get these glued together the way I want them, and then we'll glue it to the hair barrette. And I'm just kind of eyeballing as I still want you to be able to see a little bit of the a little bit of the pattern um, underneath I want you to see the color underneath so I might have to cut these a little further and I think hold on I did bring up what you do with that tote because I brought another pair I bought a little pair of scissors down because I'm thinking I want to cut these in a little further than I actually did because I want you to be able to see the other color that's underneath. So I'm just going to take these and put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing and cut these in just a little bit further because I kind of want you to be able to see the 
the pattern underneath or the material underneath. Pretty simple. You can you could probably do the same thing with just buying some florals from the Dollar Tree or Dollar General and taking them apart and mixing and matching them together instead of having to cut your own or use them for a pattern. I mean, that, that would work too because I thought about doing the same thing. But I already had one left, so I went ahead and just tore it apart and made me up a pattern. And I'm not cutting very much further in. Just cutting enough so you'll be able to see the material underneath. Because otherwise I'm not sure that you would see it. Alright. Then I'm just going to lay them together. Kind of in between so you can still see you can still see the material underneath. Take the hot glue gun, put your, well, maybe put your bead in the center. Push it together, flatten it out. Now, the other smaller pieces that I have are some that were left over from the last time I made them. So, we're going to take one of these little center parts and it's just a little flower. Kind of got, it's got a little bit of glitter to it. We're going to stick it in the center and glue it down. I can get the glue gun to work with me here. I need a new glue gun so badly. Okay. Take this. Put it in the center. Stick it down. You want to try and make the glue as flat as possible for because you're going to be gluing more than one layer on there. Um, I thought I had made one that kind of curled up, but I guess maybe not. All right. I got this, just this little floral one that I just kind of drew and it was kind of hard though trying to get them even with the fabric starch, I couldn't get them. Um, I just didn't get them as hard as I wanted them to be. I wanted them to be stiff, and they just didn't work out that way. I'm going to put this in the center. Let's see if I can curl it up some more once I get it in there. It'll curl up somewhat. Then, okay, so now you have your floral um, flower together. And I'm trying to curl it up a little bit, but it's not going to curl much. It's not really stiff enough. Okay. Now you want to put something decorative in the center. Well, I have, and I know how Wanda likes these little flat pearls. That's what I'm going to put in the center of mine. Just going to put a little dab of glue. Try to get all my spider webs off here. And I'm going to, oops, I'm going to stick the pearl down in the center. There you go. 
Now, I'll take a different one since I already got glue all over this one. You can pick the glue off of that. I don't know which one I really want to use. Thinking, I'm thinking this bigger one might work better. So, if I can get my glue gun to work here, I'll get glue on it. I did last time, however, use hair barrettes. Because, yeah, that's what I thought would work better. But I'm thinking a lot of people don't like to have to put the hair barrettes. They don't like to try and get them on. I figured hair clips might work out a little better. It'd be a little easier to clip it in your hair. All right, there's that one. Hair clip attached. It's not, maybe not as pretty as the other ones I had made, but it's what I could do on the fly here. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it turned out quite pretty. I mean, really, if I could get the light not to shine on it so badly. Hold on here. Let me see if I can move this light a little bit. Just a little bit. See, it didn't turn out too bad. Okay. There's that one. All right. And let's go for... this smiley face and tie-dyed material and just a plain purple. Now, this one is one that Miss Jeannie cut out. <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of boogered it up a little bit, so yep. she gets the boogered up ones. Because she kind of boogered it up a little bit. But that's okay. It'll work. We'll get it to work. I need to get me a new glue gun. I keep saying that it's horrible. The one I bought from the dollar store doesn't doesn't work anymore. Of course, I think I probably burn it up using it as much as I did. All right, got got those two stuck together, which I can. It's kind of cute. And let's go with. I'm going to go with this little off-white one here and stick it in the center. Get it nice and flat. Then I have... I didn't cut out any of those other colors, but I had this little, now this is what they were supposed to look like, the little centers that I made, but I couldn't figure out how to make them stiff enough to make them look that way, but that's what we're going to put on this one in the center of it. little cobwebs out of the way. Alrighty. Now, let's see what I got as far as, now I have some of these, which I got from Hobby Lobby, which are just little jewels with the flat back to them. And of course I know, since this is Jeannie's, I already know what color she wants. Purple. Yeah. Everything's purple with her. Everything's purple. Everything's good purple. <laughs> yep. According to her. So we'll put the purples down <clears throat> in the center. Okay. 
and then we'll find out which one of the clips she would like. Which one of the clips would you like? Oh, let's do a fun one. Well, that's the same one I did on the other one. Oh, well then. We'll I thought that. you might want a thinner one. Yeah. Like there that one. There we are. Okay. All right, so we'll flip it over. Get some glue on this. I think my glue gun just works when it wants to, which is not, <laughs> not all the time. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> when it wants to. All right. Well, there's that one. I think it turned out quite cute. Okay. Now, I want to do, let me see what I want to do next. All right, I think I'm going to do the little flamingo on a blue background. And I don't know if I want to cut. I want to look at this because I may want to cut some more. And then I may be fine. Yeah, maybe I'll just do it like that. Ready? I've yet to figure out how to keep my laptop from. That's how I see whether I'm in frame or not. I can't keep it from going to sleep. <laughs> Keeps wanting to go to sleep on me. It's driving me crazy here. This one's got a little bit, a little tint of a green, so I'm gonna use that one. In the center. Then I'm gonna take, I have one, little green piece. I only had a couple of these. That's a little green one. I'm going to set it in the center. Okay. Oh, by the way, I still am, um, I still got to get my granddaughters to draw the name for the Sugar Skull. They just, they're so busy playing baseball now, it's kind of hard for me to get them to do it. But I've got all the names that were given to me in the Sugar Skull. I just need to get them, I want to get them on camera, drawing the names. I got glue all over that one. Yeah, I don't think I want it on there. I got glue all over the top of it. Didn't mean to, but I did. Okay, let me try this again. <laughs> let me just put it on there, then I'll lay it on there. try one of those square ones this time and see how it works. I hope 
also tried uh, some ribbon and I tried to get it stiff enough to make those little flowers that I was putting in the center with the little glitter on them. Nah, can't, can't, can't get it stiff enough to work. Tried it, didn't work. Wished I could have, because I think they would have been really cute, but didn't work. All right, there you go. Well, I'm trying to get it out of the light so much so you can see. Okay, that's three. Um, let's do another. Um, tie-dyed one with a different background. I'll we'll use a pink background this time and I think I will cut these a little bit more. Because <clears throat> I do want it to show. And I don't know what will stick in the center of this one. I may just put that one little flower on there and do what I can do. I did manage to make them somewhat stiff. Um, what, when the paint, the tulip paint didn't stiffen them enough, I got some Mod Podge out and dumped a little glitter in it and then brushed it on them and let them set. And I did notice that the Mod Podge seemed to stiffen the flower petals up more than what I was using before that. At one point I did use some glitter glue, Elmer's glitter glue, but it uh, seemed to make it a little too stiff. But we'll see, we'll see. We may use that one too. Just, uh, just so I can show you what I had done. All right. I'm trying not to cover all that pink up. Okay. Put some glue on there. Okay. All right. Now, um, I don't really have anything for the center, so I'm just going to put one of these little white flower petals in there and then put a little stone in there. I don't have any more of the little pieces, and I didn't cut any. I should have cut some out of the other colors and used, tried to stiffen them up, but I didn't. Is there any pink in there? Give me a pink one. That's Ooh, red. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm going to put a pink one in the center of this. <clears throat> All righty. And we will, um, hmm. let's try another one of these. Oh, if I have to, I'll buy some more from my hairbreaths that I've made out of epoxy that I haven't got put on there yet. I've kind of, it's kind of been a rough week for me. I haven't done a lot of stuff this week. Been sick and 
had some other things come up, so. The holiday, September 5th, would have been my husband's 68th birthday, so. Kind of had a rough, been a rough week so far. Not to mention the 7th, September 7th would have been our wedding anniversary. So it's, uh, I've been trying to get down here and get a video made and I'll try not to leave you hanging with just the videos I have on there. All right, that didn't turn out too bad for not having the little piece in the center. I thought, I think it turned out okay. Clip works okay. Although I got a piece of glue in there, big glob that needs to be picked out. There we go. All right. Now let's try that work. Um, maybe we'll do another one of these and another one of these. I still got this. This is the one that I used. This is the one I used Elmer's glue, glitter glue on. Not sure how well it's going to do, but we'll we'll glue that one up too. We'll get some more glued up. Okay. Um, like I said, I didn't make... These are kind of out of... Yeah, I don't know how that would work. Yeah, I don't have any more of the little flowers. I do, but they're <laughs> they're made out of the unicorn. Maybe I should do another unicorn. Then I can put another flower in the center of it. And I think I want to do this one too. This is the one that has <laughs> it actually has part of the smiley face on it. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's do these. Oops, what did I do with that one? Uh, no, no, no. I got one with blue already. I need a different color. Give me purple. I've already done the pink. Let's put purple under that one. Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. I'm going to cut them a little bit more. I think. Just a little bit more. I wished I had a... Uh, Cut them in a little bit more when I cut them out, but I didn't. I just want you to be able to see the other color underneath. And I don't know that you would if I didn't cut it in some more. You're not seeing a lot of the bottom color as it is. I think the others, the way they were cut out, when you put them together, you got to see all the, all the different layers. And of course, I did them in more. I did them in thicker layers than I did these. So we'll just cut them back a little bit and see what happens. Okay. I 
think I got that kind of off center there a little bit. So I'm going to put just a little bit there. Put it down because I want it to stay. Now, I do have one bigger flower. Kind of not sparkly. Just kind of a regular color. So let's make this one a little more of a layered one simply because I have this and I can use it. Put that in the center. Alright. And I do have some more of these. This is got the unicorn on it so I actually can use it. I'll just try and bend it up a little bit. Got some little babies up, or at least one little baby up there whining because he ain't down here. Got Miss, Miss Pebbles down here though. She's down here. Okay, I think I want, they got a turquoise color in there, yes. I want to use a turquoise color in the center of this one. About as close to our turquoise as you can get. Now, um, since this one is a four layer, I think I'm going to go with the square hair barrette, really. Because it's going to, uh, yeah, if I don't run out of glue here. Which is what's going to happen. Silly glue gun. It really didn't want it going off of there. Come on. bit in the center. I think I might have glued that clip together. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. Oopsie. Yeah, I did get it a little bit. Oh well. Get to come off of there. Alright. Here's this one. Know why that light is so bright? Is that one? See this purple one? I don't know what we'll put on it. I don't know if purple and brown really goes together. think I got a brown one I just don't know that brown would work but let's see let's see what it looks like look bad I kind of like the brown mm -hmm. I don't think it looks that bad because mm -mm. it's you know it's kind of tie-dyed so yeah. I don't think the brown looks that bad and maybe a, this time, maybe a yellow stone, like you gave me before. That's 
Well, that's kind of a... I don't, that's about as yellow as you're going to get, really. Well, there you it's go. kind of an orange, but it's about the... kind of matches. It's got orange in it. Mm -hmm. It matches. <clears throat> you wouldn't believe how many of these I actually made for my granddaughters. They had all kinds of these at the time when I first started making them. It was part of their Christmas. And I just took the rest of them that I had made and went ahead and was working a festival at the time. And Okay. I don't think it looks that bad. I think it actually looks kind of cute. Mm -hmm. All right, let's... Let's go with the flat one. Hopefully I can get it glued well enough. I promise guys I I, I will get the the sugar skull named. I just got to get my granddaughters over here. Maybe they'll be over here on Saturday and we'll do a short video and just get the sugar skull named. Because someone came up with another one called Daisy the Sugar Skull. Because Daisy, she has uh, daisies for her eyes. And I can't use Rosie because that's what Miss Wanda named hers. But I think Daisy would work. And, you know, I've had Pete and Pete the Sugar Skull and Jack the Sugar Skull. And I'm just going to put them in there and let my granddaughters pick. Okay. Let's do, let's do one more here. All right. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, I may want to cut that one up a little bit more, too. And then I'm going to try um, tomorrow to do an epoxy video. I don't know exactly what I'm going to make yet, but i got lots of stuff I could make. Got some new stuff, too. Of course, it's not really new to you all because you've seen Wanda use it. i got some shaved ice. i got some... Uh, Unicorn Crush Crystals. And I actually bought some confetti, but I didn't realize it was Terrazzo confetti. And I'm not real fond of the colors, but I figure that I'll figure out something to use it in. I don't know what, but something. But uh, Jeannie just got me some more molds. And we're gonna we're gonna do some of those tomorrow. And I got a skull that I need to finish. It still needs another uh, probably another two ounces to finish. So I will finish it. I will get it finished. And then we can unmold it. And I haven't, I really haven't done a deep enough mold that I could use my mat yet. But I do have some other ideas. All right, let's go with a sparkly one for the center. And I got another one of these that I can try and bend up. And maybe we'll maybe we'll put like a blue stone in this one. Even though we 
got purple and pink in it. Let's do kind of a blue stone. Ah, come on, get in there. get this um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one some of the girls I might give them to has got quite a bit of hair I don't know that I'm giving my granddaughters any because they got plenty <laughs> but I do have some little neighbor girls and they seem to really like a lot of stuff that I do. I'm hoping I can get them. Of course, I don't know if I want to put them on. I don't know if I'll put them in my YouTube video. It depends on if their parents say it's okay. But they're wanting me to show them how to do some more rainbow loom stuff. And uh, I'm trying to get my basement cleaned out and cleared up and just ready to have more space I've been I seem to be the crock pot queen <laughs> I was going through stuff this weekend and I really didn't realize that my husband and I had 10 various size crock pots yeah was not not really thrilled with all that but some of them are gonna go away so I figure I only need one crock pot and that's enough. There you go. Now, we could do, we could do one more. I had to get another. No, well, yeah, we got one more clip here. Let's figure out another one here. Let's do another one of the. I don't know if I, did I? I used blue on it last time. I think I'm going to use pink this time. And I want to make sure I get maybe just one more. One flamingo here. That one's kind of cut. This one's not cut all the way. Okay. Okay. Get it glued together. And without pausing the video, I'm sure this one's going to be a whole lot easier to upload. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that pausing of the videos. Whew, never knew it was going to be that rough to upload videos. Alright, we're going to go with another one of these sparkly ones in the center. And give me pearl. give me a pearl. Okay. Give me a pearl for this one. You got one right there. It's got glue all over the oh. top of it. <laughs> that's the one I that's the one I kinda dumped over in the glue. <laughs> No, I don't want it. It's got glue all over it. It's got to have the glue picked off. <laughs> Should have told me that before. Yeah. She'd been picking glue off of stuff, so, yeah. All right. Now, let's get this glued on the bottom of it. I don't know if I... How many did I actually make? Six? I got some more I just I'd have to get some more clips out because I only got a couple more over there and I guess I could finish those out 
but it would be pretty boring because it's just the same stuff. <laughs> seven. Oh wow, I made seven? Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay me. <laughs> yeah. Yay me, I made seven. Yeah, I could make, I probably got a, at least one more or two more over there. And that's eight. That's eight. Well, I got two more. Let's go with these two. I got two more over here that I can use. Here's another flamingo. And then I got a, another tie-dyed. Okay, let's do these. I, I have this one for this. This one for this. I don't need a pink one for one of them. Oh, you think? Did we do? Okay. Yeah, give yeah, me we a. Did one. Give, um, did we? Yeah, we did one of those oh, in nice. pink. Yeah, let's okay. just go with what yeah. we got. Cause those pink ones, I didn't. I kind of pointed the ends of these, and I didn't do those yet. I wish I would have cut some of these out of. See, I have some ribbon, but it's kind of, mm, kind of funky looking. I don't, I don't like the way the ribbon turned out. I tried to make it sparkly and make it stiffer so it would, I could use it in the center, but it didn't turn out so hot. So I won't be using it. I didn't like the way it turned out. I hope y'all enjoy this, these YouTubes that I've been making. Um, I'm gonna try and come up with some more. I don't know if anybody would want to see a sewing one. Um, I got a quilt that I have to make here. I need to get started fairly quickly because I have a great grandson and he's the only one of my grandkids that I have not made a quilt for yet. So I've kind of got an idea for a quilt for him. Uh, I have stuff cut out already and I am trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with that one. I think I'm going to this time put a green stone in the center of that one. Um, if anybody would like to see a quilting video, I kind of think it might be a little boring. But if you'd like to see it, I have to let you know, though, I've been really good with these. I haven't, I'm a, I am a cusser and crafter. I have to, I have to say, that I have amazed myself on these videos that I have been so good and have not said any particular words that shouldn't be said. I mean, I'm sure that a lot of those words have been said on, on YouTube pages, but... And then when Wanda said she thought I'd be great at doing... YouTube videos, I said, Wanda, I don't think I can do them. Because cussing and crafting goes hand in hand with me. So, I'm not sure I could do a video. And I'm not sure YouTube would keep it on there if I did. Because <laughs> I am... Yeah, I've had to bite my tongue a couple times. Yeah, I, I do have a... I do kind of have a sailor's mouth. But I've been pretty good. I haven't said any really bad words. I have to admit that I have amazed myself that I can actually do a crafting thing without cussing because my husband said it. I, I would never be able to do it. And was amazed when he watched my first video. <laughs> He was. He was amazed when he watched my first video that I didn't say one cuss word. Didn't cuss one time. Even when it wasn't really going great for me, I still didn't say those words. So, um, yeah. 
I was a little amazed. I'm sorry I'm off camera. I'm trying to pick the overflow of hot glue that I got on the bread off. All right, there's that one. kind of like it with the green. Really, I do kind of like it with the green in the center. And I did overflow a little bit more on there. Shucks. That was that was that was good for me. <laughs> yeah. That was really good for me. I mean I didn't You didn't swear. I didn't swear. I did say a word, but I didn't swear. Okay. I wish I had another one a little one to put in the center, but I don't have another one. Alright, I kinda wanna get this to go right between if possible yeah see that does. I know but that's that ribbon I can try it I don't know what it'll look like well if it looks bad you know where it goes well if it looks bad it goes to Jeannie's ass yep because she takes a lot of rejects <laughs> <laughs> a lot of my rejects she takes I don't think they turn out just quite right. She takes the rejects. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I didn't like the way that, I wish it would have been a little stiffer. That was the thing about the ribbon. I couldn't get it, I don't know, maybe if I would have used, I don't think I used Mod Podge on it, but it, maybe if I would have used the Mod Podge on it, I might have been able to get it a little thicker. Okay, now I need a color. Give me a color that I haven't used. Haven't used. Yeah, I have not used any red. Yeah, see that one just, it curls a little bit, but it doesn't curl like I was expecting to get it to curl. <laughs> Darn it, it just ain't going to work. It doesn't want to. All right. One more. And we can get them all over here and you can see them all and... About to run out of glue again. Crummy glue gun. It is it's running out of glue again before I got to the end of the hair bread. Trying to get on there without <laughs> gluing my fingers and Oh, and by the way, Miss Wanda, you got, we did some more roses. <laughs> You'll be getting some more roses. <laughs> I sit watching TV doing roses. And you can blame that on Miss Jeannie. Because <laughs> she's the one that got the wire ribbon. Miss Jeannie, she got the wire ribbon. And so we made more roses. Because they were cool. She said because the ribbon was cool. Okay. There's that one. I kind of... It's okay. I just don't... I don't really like that one in the center. If it would fold up a little more. Alrighty. There's that one. Alright. Let's unplug this and move it out of the way. So we can get all of these over here so we can get one last look at all of them. All right. I need to clean the glue off my mat too. No, you don't. Okay. I don't know if I can get them all in there, but I'll try and get the biggest part of them in there. 
Plus I'll have some pictures of them for my see if I can get down here a little closer so you can get a closer look at them. I thought I had still one more. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, that's zooming out. Let's zoom in some. There you go, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're inspired to try and make you some flower clips, hair clips. Um, like I said, the next video is probably going to be some more epoxy. I don't know what item yet, but maybe you'll just be surprised and in the meantime this weekend I'm going to try and get my granddaughters on camera so that they can name the sugar skull and that can be done and then we will do it live and well we'll do it on video I don't I don't know if I can do it oh, I'm talking to myself here I don't know that I can do it live but we will do it we will get the sugar skull named, and I'll try and get um, them here just to, you know, to get them to pick the name and get my granddaughters on the YouTube channel for just a few minutes or a little bit. They like to do stuff, too, so they may even want to do something on my YouTube channel. We'll see. But thank you for watching. Like the video. Subscribe. I have a list of where I got most of the items. Um, was really at Hobby Lobby, but I'll put a list of what I what I purchased so that if you want to try it, you can try it. Um, enjoyed the video. Liked making it for you. Want to continue to make more videos? I hope you like it. See you later. Bye.